It could be said that the rise of Chatsworth owed much to the premature death of Bess of Hardwick's first husband in 1544, and her later introduction to Sir William Cavendish. Bess became Sir William's third wife in 1547. William's estates were widely spread, and eventually they sold their lands in the south and bought Chatsworth in 1549 to be near Bess's birthplace. In 1552, they began to build an ambitious new house, around a central courtyard with a gate tower, great hall and chapel. Today, the hunting tower and Queen Mary's bower are the only visible remaining parts of Elizabethan Chatsworth. Significant changes would be made to Chatsworth by several generations of the family, starting with the fourth Earl of Devonshire. He rebuilt the south front, adding new family rooms on the first floor and a magnificent state apartment on the second floor, in anticipation of a royal visit. And as a reward for his part in helping to bring William and Mary to the English throne, he was created first Duke of Devonshire. The original intention was just to alter the south front, but building was addictive for the Duke. He redesigned the east, west and north fronts and transformed the grounds, with the addition of a formal garden and the cascade, topped by its temple. In 1702, the canal pond was dug and the new Chatsworth was finished just before the Duke died in 1707. The fourth Duke also made great changes to the park and garden. He decided that the house should be approached from the west, demolishing the first Duke's stables and offices, which interfered with the view. He relocated the nearby village of Enzo, creating new housing for his staff and tenants further away from the house. Lancelot Capability Brown was employed in 1760 and for the next four years oversaw extensive work to naturalise the appearance of the park and formal Baroque garden. The sixth Duke succeeded in 1811 at the age of 21. He loved entertaining his friends and spent 47 years improving his numerous houses and building up many collections. He engaged Sir Geoffrey Wyattville to build the North Wing including a purpose-built gallery for his sculpture collection. The Duke leased 33 acres of his land in Chiswick to the Horticultural Society and met a young Joseph Paxton on one of his visits. Paxton became Chatsworth's head gardener in 1826 and proved to be one of the most innovative garden designers of his era. He designed and constructed the giant rockeries the conservative wall glass house and the emperor fountain in the canal pond, the highest gravity-fed fountain of its time, with water supplied from an eight-acre man-made reservoir on the high ground above the house. The most famous of his achievements, though, was the Great Conservatory, which was sadly destroyed in 1920. The ninth Duke and his wife, Duchess Evelyn, oversaw the next major works at Chatsworth, which didn't take place until 1908. Considerable improvement and renovation was required before they could move in. Edward Cavendish succeeded his father as 10th Duke in 1938. He and his wife, Duchess Mary, planned to make many alterations and improvements to Chatsworth. However, a year later, when the Second World War broke out, Chatsworth became home to the girls and staff of Penrose College. His second son, Andrew Cavendish, became the 11th Duke in 1950, after the 10th Duke's sudden and unexpected death at the age of 55. He was living at Ensor House with Duchess Deborah and their family, but in 1959 they moved back to Chatsworth after some modernisation had been done. They worked constantly to ensure the survival of Chatsworth, it's now a successful visitor attraction, with shops, restaurants and cafes, the estate farm shop and the farmyard and adventure playground. In addition to their entrepreneurial skills, the 11th Duke and Duchess instigated many new features in the garden. They were also enthusiastic and knowledgeable collectors of contemporary art, continuing the 6th Duke's passion. The 12th Duke inherited the title in 2004, and moved into Chatsworth in January 2006. The Duke, Duchess and the charity, the Chatsworth House Trust, are committed to preserving Chatsworth for the future. The charity continues to care for Chatsworth and a £32.7 million restoration project 
is helping visitors to experience the house, garden and estate as never before. This work and other essential projects can only happen with the continuing support of visitors and the friends of Chatsworth. <laughs>